Even though the last DC-3 was built in 1946, amazingly, there are still hundreds of working DC-3s in the air. It's the only pre-war aircraft still flying commercially. Rob Balling and his DC-3 deliver cargo to Catalina Island off the coast of California. It's very cool that this thing survived. It's a testament to the airplane that it survived this long. I know it's a really good designed airplane. So I feel privileged to get to fly something like this. It's a piece of history. Rob moves three million pounds of freight every year, whatever the conditions. It's very controllable with difficult crosswinds. It's right there for you the whole way down as long as you treat it right. Despite being 69 years old, his DC-3 is still a rugged and economical cargo plane. Back in 1945, thousands of surplus military aircraft are being sold off for scrap. But the C-47 gets a new lease on life. Its speed, range, and ruggedness make it the plane of choice for a new era of global air travel. It was the demobilized C-47s and Dakotas, now back in civil service, that enabled the expansion of air transport all around the world. It became an iconic global airlifter. The reborn DC-3 proves the perfect plane for small regional airlines to spread affordable air travel to every corner of America and Europe. And an awful lot of airlines, particularly in the United States, but around the world now could buy for a very low price a real first-rate airplane. By 1946, there are over 1,500 DC-3s flying primarily short-haul routes all over the globe. The DC-3 was entering a second generation. It was no longer the primary airplane of most airlines, but it was ideal for local service routes that can get in and out of anywhere. Thousands of ex-service pilots are arriving home to their small towns across the U.S., looking for jobs. Many of them will take to the skies again, this time for peaceful purposes. Now the DC-3s cost next to nothing. You could start an airline for next to nothing and uh, with some luck, turn it into a viable airline. And quite a few did that. And then introduced flying to thousands more people because now it was more affordable. 